In a recent interview with Vogue, tennis champion Serena Williams revealed the health complications in giving birth to her baby girl, Alexis. Uh, Williams underwent an emergency C-section due to the baby's heart rate dropping during delivery. Days after surgery, Williams developed a blood clots in her lungs, and we now know that her medical history with embolisms helped her to alert doctors that something was wrong. Joining us is Alice Benjamin. She's an emergency room RN and clinical nurse specialist. Welcome back. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, you know, we hear embolism. A lot of us don't know what an embolism is or why a pulmonary embolism is so dangerous. So tell us about that. Right. So a pulmonary embolism basically is a blood clot in the lung. However, it starts elsewhere. It typically starts in the deep veins, such as in your legs. It breaks off and then it travels back to the heart. And the heart being the pump that it is, it pumps it out into the lungs, and then that's where the problem lies. Mm. They can be very lethal, especially if the clot is big, because it can cause dangerously low levels of oxygen. It can cause heart failure and permanent damage to your lungs. Mm. So what are the risk factors for embolisms? Well, the typical risk factors are heart disease, cancer, obesity, smoking, some medications such as birth control pills, and there's actually a small amount of people, 5 to 8 percent, who genetically have, mm. are predisposed to developing blood clots. And in Serena Williams' case, was the distress of her unborn baby, was that related to the blood clots after the birth? Well, I wasn't a part of Serena's medical team, so I don't know the details of her story. Um, possible, but we don't know for sure because there are other things that can contribute to the baby's heart rate being distressed like that during contractions. But it is very likely that it could have been. Hmm. There are tests and procedures that doctors used to treat Williams. So what were some of those? Yes. Um, so some of the tests that are commonly done are we'll do a uh, ultrasound of your legs to see if there are any... Uh, blood clots in your legs. Um, we'll also do a CAT scan to visualize what's going on in the lungs. So those were things that were done for Serena. And as well, once they identified the clots, they put her on an intravenous medication called heparin. So it's a blood thinner that they gave through her IV. And if prevention is a key work and people get information on how uh, to prevent this. Right. So they can get prevention. Um, you can go to stoptheclot.org. It's a website that tells you uh, a lot more about blood clots. So and also with Serena's, uh, Serena's case, she also had an IVC filter in. So for more information about that, you can definitely go to that website. Okay. Alice Benjamin, emergency room RN and clinical nurse specialist. You can follow her on social media and you can check out her website as well. AskNurseAlice.com. Good to see you. Thanks.